Hi, welcome and um, good morning. This topic is all about Arch Linux B Qtile. We are working on a version of Arch Linux B Mate. And I am making all these videos on whatever desktop that I'm currently on. I mean, we have all these uh, desktops, 13 to choose from. So basically, I have 13 SSDs and whatever is in here, I'll teach on it. It doesn't really matter because it's still Arch Linux and it's just desktop one or desktop two or desktop three. So if you want to build your own ISO, that's the point. If you want to do that, then you go to the net and you go to Arch Linux B. That is the website to go to arclinuxb.com. The B stands for building and if you want to build your own ISO, then you get the, pi the power to make choices and, and the end result that well, the choice is put Firefox on it or not, put Steam on it or not, etc. All these packages is just a file and we have to update this website. We have to make new tutorials because there are 13 Arch Linux B minimal ISOs or 13 full ISOs, etc. So we need to have more elements in here. This is the Arch Linux ISO. You can build it yourself without changes, with changes, or the Arch Linux D without changes or with changes. And here we need a new one, the Qtile between these two guys needs to come Qtile. And there is a minimal version as well that you can build. So I need to make more tutorials about it. But it's always the same procedure. You go to the internet and you go to HTTPS, <coughs> github.com so if you've watched one video it's gonna be the same over and over and over again nevertheless I'm making videos about it so here are all our um, well setups really it's just a package file a way to build an ISO that's it more it's not not anything more difficult than that and if you type Qtide here in the search you can have only the minimal one and the full one so I'm going for the full one first you need to clone this you can actually copy paste this but here is a button that says copy paste the same URL as above here so you copy paste this one I suggest you do it on the desktop so right mouse click create folder you can do something here but open in terminal is enough so this is Mate it might look a little bit different for instance I don't really like um, the way it looks now so you can go inside here and make it a little bit bigger maybe so I can see it or show it better on the video what else I'm not liking I'm like not liking that the show menu bar that's it and then I'm okay all right so let's go on with the tutorial nicer so git clone <clears throat> as a command you need to know this is basically telling copy paste from the net git clone control shift v and that's the complete url and that's what you get then the complete content of the website we just visited and this is help about kaga so that's the file manager in mate it looks a little bit different than xfce or nautilus or any of the others because well basically it's the file manager for Mate. And this is maintenance, maintenance, just maintenance, just maintenance. And what you need to know is you go to Arch ISO, to the packages.x8664, and you open it with something you like, all right? You have possibilities to open it with some of the elements. Some of the editors. Control scroll makes it a little bit bigger for you guys, so you can read. And all you have to do is, for instance, say control find Steam. Here they are. So do you want to have Steam installed? Yes, no. The only thing you need to do is a backspace and a backspace. That's it. And it's installed. For instance, Sonotic, I like to play it from time to time on a bi-monthly basis or something. I'm not really a gamer, but I need my time to develop. So we have here possibilities to add and change and for instance uh, people saying there are too many browsers well get rid of them it's just as easy as just putting a hashtag in front of it won't say 
I won't say um, delete it. You can, of course, uh, no problem there. But um, let's say in a, in a month's time, you have your folder, this folder, you put it away in your data or something. And in a month's time, you say, I'm gonna rebuild it. And then you can easily compare it because you can, you have two maps, a map from today and a map, a map from in, in a month's time. Take these two maps and compare them with Melt. And then you easily see, okay, we have added this code or that code of that package. And there was, there's probably a reason for it, right? Why we added something. Okay, so edit or don't edit, that's up to you entirely. But the advantage of building it yourself is that you can edit it, that you can change it. If you're not gonna change anything, then better, then it's better to download something, right? It's just one click, download. You have an ISO, burn it, done. Um, this is again maintenance, so moving stuff over to my documents and moving over to the people that test our ISOs. So that's um, not for you guys, it's just always number 30. Build it. And for me, it's up to me, it's up to you of course. I put this guy up here and that guy up there so I know that I'm building. <laughs> because I tend to roll over with my chair from one computer to the other. And I, this look means oh yeah, I should check the ISO, the result. So the only thing you need to have is an Arch Linux system. Um, a fast internet does make it easier. We'll keep talking maybe, and that way you'll see um, how long it takes to build. So it's going to download all these elements you can have a look at this as well. Open it with whatever you want again. Pluma is there. What it's going to do, maybe it's interesting for you to know. There is no ISO per se, as if you see, if you visit this folder, then you say, how does he make an ISO? There is just a file. Well, basically because we're building it again on Arco Linux. So the basis, and that's why we can develop this fast, the basis of Arch Linux B is always an Arch Linux. So that has consequences. Because it's an Arch Linux, he thinks he's gonna get XFCE. And no, there are 13 other desktops. Well, 12 actually then. So it has its consequences. And But the advantage, of course, is that we don't need to develop a live environment for each of these desktops that would be horrific that would be taking taking up so much time that we can't develop or can't make tutorials anymore so the develop the, the delivery system that we have for Arch Linux B is always going to be an XFCE it's based on Arch Linux so that's interesting for you to know already it has its consequences and it's probably somewhere in here if you click on one of these guys, really, all the bees guys, of course, like also minimal, for instance, the first one, we tell you, okay, get to, so I'm gonna basically copy paste and make a new article, but then for um, Qtile, because it's simple, right? You are going to download Qtile minimal. So I'm gonna change this word to Qtile, change the file packages, run script 30, test the ISO in VirtualBox, and burn ISO to USB and install an SSD. Telling that this one can be edited and I'm gonna make, well copy paste this video that I'm making in here. And this is important. We will use XFC as delivery system for your desktop. The live CD will not have your chosen desktop. That's the most asked question online. Say why, why I'm looking at a minimal XFC where I can't do anything because it's the way how we deliver stuff on your virtual box or your SSD or your hard disk. So you need to install it to see it. As a result, since we are working with Arch Linux, it is set to XFCE. Auto login session, XFCE. Even in Calamares, when you set auto login, well, LightM is fixed. It's written that it should be XFCE, so it can't change it. So the only thing you need to do is go to inside etclightm.conf, go to this line and say, I'm on Qtile. And that's it. 
basically. And here's some more info I see, how to auto login on a real complete article, but it's not that difficult. And if you're not ready to build an ISO, then of course you can just download them and available on SourceForge, not only on SourceForge, in the meantime, also on Seathost. All right, let's see what um, time we have filled up. We have already 1004. That's the number we have for packages. And I guess we should count on top of that the normal arch stuff, which is way up here. And you see, I can't scroll anymore. I can't scroll up anymore. So Ctrl T. Nope, that's not the one. So this is Termite. The other one is Gnome. So this guy has a profile set that we can't scroll up. All right, unlimited, thank you very much. So I'd like to scroll up till I see the start of my script. And at this point in time with this setting, I can't. Never mind. so let's wait for this to show up. Oh yes, never mind all these things. Sometimes you see this error thing. Uh, never mind. the end result should be an ISO if that's not the case, well, then you can ask questions. So, Article Linux B, we're gonna make some tutorials here. Here, a new one, Qtile in here, and ISO minimal, a Qtile in here. And that's basically it. We have a gallery, nope, I have to work here as well. I have to make a gallery as a Qtile here as well. And everything will be Again, dandy, <laughs> nice word. And this one is the longest one. This is where he creates the ISO. It can maybe even ruin our um, video at this point in time, because Control Shift Escape, he's actually demanding quite a lot from our system. We're going 100%. I'm using all cores to make this ISO. So maybe it's better I pause the video here. He's about to finish. You see the graphics going from 100% down back to a normal one. He's moving stuff around because I wanted to, the ISO to move to a particular place. All right. So Arc Linux B Qtile has been built. So this is the end result. If you see all this as um, last lines, then everything is okay. Everything has been built. Number 13, built the ISO, and you get a result of two gigabyte. Then it's up to you. Then it's up to you. Then you need to find where it is. So it's gone to Arc Linux B out. You find your folder, Arc Linux B out, and in here is your Qtile. And all you have to do is now test it. So with VirtualBox or you burn it on a USB and actually install it on a computer on SSD, preferably. You'll see why it's super fast when it boots, faster than hard disk. So this is our tutorial. This is your end result. This is your Qtile. This is how you build an Arc Linux B. All right, have fun.